hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing a hair tutorial on how i achieved this bubble ponytail slash jasmine if you guys are interested stay tuned make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and please don't forget to ring that bell to get all my post notifications okay so let's begin right now you're seeing me part out her hair to her desired parting So at this point, I'm just pressing out her edges with the hot comb and her hair is actually natural. So I did a silk press prior to the ponytail. So at this point, I parted her hair in two in the front and I'm just gonna put her hair in a ponytail to begin the molding in the back. So right now, I'm gonna take my beeswax, apply some onto my comb, work it into the hair, um, squeeze out any excess beeswax with the comb. Once you worked in the beeswax in the hair, you're gonna take your got to be spray, put your dryer on warm air, and freeze the hair into place. <music> Okay guys, so this is the most important part. You're gonna start sectioning the hair piece by piece in the swoop area, and you're gonna add beeswax as you go. And if the client would like to leave out any baby hairs, any edges, this is the time to do so. And make sure you take your time. So you're gonna add your beeswax, and you're also gonna spray a little gossipy spray, but make sure you don't spray too much because then it will be hard to move around your swoop. And if it's not sitting exactly how you want, you can't readjust it. I would just coat it at the end after you mold it how you want with the spray. So make sure you take your time. <music> Thank you. 
Okay, once you've molded your swoop, you're going to take your free spray and just coat it on top. I mean, you can spray a little in between as you've seen me do in the video. And now I'm just doing the other side, repeating the same steps. <laughs> Please make sure that you're using your hands to smooth out the mold as you're spraying the spray in the dryer. Right now you're seeing me connect the two sides with another rubber band to secure the ponytail. You can actually use a couple rubber bands, like five large ones. I kind of like rubber bands instead of scrunchies because it's like a better grip. Right now, I just put a little Gatsby be gel in my hand so I could get a good grip of her hair because her hair was a little silky. And make sure you tie down um, the ponytail with wrapping paper. I did about three wrapping papers. So I added the braiding hair. I didn't make the braid too long. And now you're gonna take another wrapping paper Fold it in half and wrap the pony, wrap the wrapping paper around the braid. That way there's no glue on the client's hair. Now you don't have to sew the tracks around. She actually spent a little money on this hair, so I didn't want to glue it just in case she wanted to use it next time. You can glue the tracks around and it's going to be perfectly fine. It wouldn't damage the client's hair. <laughs> and a half to two packs of hair but just do it according to the fullness you don't want it too thick so right now you see me take a strand of hair using the gossipy spray to make the wrap <music> Okay, last.
last but not least, we're at the best part. So you're going to continue to use those large rubber bands. Right now you see me measuring out. Each bubble should be the size of like your fist. That's how I measured it out. I'm taking that rubber band and I'm going around as much as I can without breaking the rubber band. Now, after you go around with the rubber band, you're just going to tease it out before you start your next section. You're going to tease it out to your liking. And then sometimes I take the comb and I use the end of the comb to help me tease it out as well. And you're going to continue all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so this is the outcome. I'm gonna also put a picture on the side to show you how it came out. Um, also, make sure you guys tease not only the front and the back, but also the sides. So from any angle, it has that bubble effect. I left the bottom straight, but um, I can't remember if this hair was human or not. I, no, I believe it was human because she paid a good amount of money for it. But you see, I left the end straight. You can actually curl the ends if you want. You can add your own twist to it. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and please subscribe. And if you guys have had any suggestions for any more videos, please leave it in the comments. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.